Hey guys, uh, the other day I started working with jQuery. Uh, I, I had to use it for a website that I am building. Uh, and it required me to create some animations and stuff, and I didn't want to use Flash because there was a lot of overhead for something simple that you can, that you can do. Um, what I'm talking about is these tabs here. And you see it a lot on like Newegg.com and, and pages that have different displays, but they don't want to refresh the page that just has a little box there. Um, so we're going to build that using jQuery, and it's actually not that hard. The more complex thing is setting up the CSS so that way it displays correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get into this. I have a project open right now, which is the one that I was just showing you. So I'm going to create a new project. So in Eclipse, right-click, new, PHP project. I'm going to call this tabs2. Click on finish. And that'll create my project for me. And then I have to add my HTML file to this. So right click new HTML page. And I'm just going to give it a name of index.html. Click on finish. So that creates my page for me. And I'm just going to insert my title jQuery tabs. And then in my body, I'm going to start setting up my structure. I got a little cheat sheet off to the side so that way I don't lose my place. Um, but the first thing you get to do is create your unordered list for your tabs. Oops. Tab one. Tab two. Whoops. Tab two, tab three. All right, so this is basically all we're going to use for our tabs. And I'm just going to wrap this in a div element, giving an ID of tabs. And that's one thing that does annoy me about Eclipse is if you already have content you want to put inside the element, it already closes the tab or the, the element for you. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is create a div for my description. And this one, I'm just going to put in a couple of different div elements with text for item one. Whoops. And three, item two. Okay, so I have the basic structure set up, and the last thing I'm going to do is just wrap this whole thing in a wrapper. Whoops div id equals wrapper and the reason why I'm doing this is so that way down the road if I wanted to specify a different width a different height I can just change the the, uh, the wrapper width rather than go through and change each individual item um, I think it's a better approach alright and now the, in order to get this to look correctly I have to add a class called active and active is going to kind of be my keyword for what tabs are uh, going to be displayed. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have to set up my CSS. If I go ahead and look at this right now, I go back to Firefox and change this to tabs2. This is what it looks like right now. Not very pretty, not very useful. So I am going to go ahead and open up. Uh, Eclipse again in my head section of my website or my web page um, I want to add in a style section give that a type of text slash whoops slash CSS close that and then in here I'm gonna do body so I can specify can't type today uh, specify no margin and oops, pixels and no padding. And I'm also going to specify a background of black. And those of you who don't know what hexadecimal numbers are, just take a look on those. They're basically um, a six character, uh, it's a variable character, 
uh, string that you can put in here. So you can either use uh, numbers or letters and that'll give you a different color based on what numbers and letter combination you put in. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is specify my wrapper and width equals 500. Next I'm going to create my, oops, I want this to be an ID. Next I'm going to specify my tabs div element width equals 100 percent padding zero pixels margin zero pixels and that's it for that element now we have got to specify my unordered list tabs ul padding zero pixels margin to zero pixels and width of 100 percent. Usually these would inherit from one another so the UL would automatically inherit from tabs but I wanted to specify it just in case. It's a, a good practice. I mean if I would do it to begin with and then go back through and see which ones when you take them out get affected. So if you take out the width uh, down the road and it's not it, it is actually changing uh, keep it in that makes sense. Um, but now the last two things or three things I got to do is specify my um, tabs list items. And the reason why I'm not doing tabs ULLI or something like that is because within the, it's looking for within the tabs element it's looking for a list item. So it's, it doesn't really necessarily have to be inside the unordered list which makes the selections a little more uh, efficient. So, I'm going to display, whoops, block, float left, because these are list items, they usually stack as you can see on the page here, but we want them to uh, float to the left, so that way they line up in a row. You can do inline block, um, but I've had some bad experiences with that with Internet Explorer 7 and below, especially if you're not specifying a, a document page type or a doc type statement. But I just I like to do it this way. I think it's a it's a better approach because it's a, a little more uniform across all browsers. And then I want to center my text. So text line whoops line center background can't type today. A light gray border one pixel solid and we'll do a little bit darker gray so you can see some definition there. Um, margin of zero pixels padding of zero pixels Oops, width of 32.9 percent and this is kind of a if I do 33 percent because I have three items then it doesn't necessarily it, it drops it down for some reason and 32.9 percent lines it up correctly so I, I haven't figured that out why it does that and I think it just might be my particular case here but if um, if you get stuck where you're having list items drop down when you're floating them uh, give this a try and try and do like a, a one uh, tenth of a percent below what you're trying to uh, achieve for a width. Oops, color equals, and we'll do that for a text color. Um, now we have to specify my active item. So background, EF, 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 and this is just a really, really light gray, and I don't even know if it'll show up on the screen, so if it shows white, uh, just know that it, it's a really, really faint gray. Now we get to specify a border, a bottom, one pixel, solid, same color. So that way it looks like it's all merging into the description. And then 
Last but not least, the two description 